Hello and welcome back to Let's Play A Dog's Life, Episode 4. Last time we started our new area, the water mill. This time we'll hopefully complete it and maybe move on to some new sections. So what we want to do is explore the last area of this area, the area within an area, area in Inception, um, which is just up here along this path and it will unlock our last challenge. So let's just run around and collect up these pink purple scents. They're purple, not pink. I keep getting confused. And I think I confused the pink with the purple last time, or the pink with the yes, red. I don't know. They said it couldn't be done, but I, Professor Ludwig von Schnitzelmacher, will be the first to send a homemade rocket What's to name? Pluto. What's a name? It's all von that's it. This guy's been watching too many mad scientist movies. Uh, I don't know. He probably doesn't get out a whole lot, so he's probably a lot like me, but I'm not this crazy. So, I don't know. And I certainly do not run like that, so he's definitely Five, more crazy than four, me. Three, two, one, lift off. You can tell something's wrong when the rocket model actually distorts when it goes to take off and explodes like that. <laughs> I mean, how can he be allowed to do this? I'm pretty sure you can't send things into space oh, no. without My some sort of permit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that is the most amazing cry. Volt flux capacitor I used. I oh, knew of course. I should have gone with the five volt one. Yeah, you dummy. Of if course I you should have. Even I know I that. Repair it. Please help me. But anyway, I think if I come over to this guy. And do a beg. Uh, which one do I want? I want that one, maybe? Uh, okay, not that one. Uh, do that one. There we Food. go. Whatever for. <laughs> okay, then. If you do beg number two to that guy, he'll give you a treat. I'm not going to show off every single one. I just wanted to show off that one because, well, it's just right there. And I said I would show off one of them at least. So here we go, let's throw this piece of rocket which is clipping through my face at him. A piece of my rocket. Surely Bring throwing it at him would have damaged it. Oh for god's sake, they're doing the thing again. <laughs> His neck's twisted slightly for some reason. That sounds like a pretty good reward. I think what's happening is whenever I come at them from a certain angle, they stare at me like I think they've got that thing where their view, like where they're looking, is always focused on me or something. Um so when I come at him like that from a weird angle. Um, he's gonna instantly look at me weird, so... Anyway, now that we have the nose cone, and I look like a plane... When I've got smoke coming out my backside... Yeah, I'll stop making the plane noises now, I just sound like a moron. Or a moron or a, or a word similar to that that actually exists. Let's throw this in, and once again, all of the pieces we throw at people have disappeared. Just a few more fragments, and the reward is yours. It's mine. It's mine. Oh, mine. Uh, I want to jump down this side, I believe. Because uh, there's some more purple, uh, yeah, purple scents down here, maybe. Yeah, here we go. Um, so I'm still short. Armpit. Five, I believe. Um, so what I'll do is I'll push this over. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. And Yippee okay. trying to ignore the guy who's making way too much of a fuss over Yippee having his axe back. Okay. That is not my favourite thing he says. Hopefully he'll say it. Listen, not that. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Uh, it's not that either. Okay, he's refusing I to jump. Love my ass. <laughs> that is my favourite thing anyone says in this game. I love my ass. I love my ass. It just <laughs> sounds so stupid. <laughs> I love my ass. It's the way he repeats it constantly. Like, I love my ass. It's just, ah, uh, dude. Yeehaw! He's just insane, this guy. And he's, uh, and I'm stuck. Uh, so let's get out there and go return this part to him. I think I can take a shortcut by jumping, yep, like that. So basically Superman jump, and he just jump ran. Oh, okay, I'm going to walk through the fence now. There yes, we go. We are approaching liftoff. One more piece. Bring it to me. Okay, that did not sound creepy at all. We're almost at liftoff. Bring me the last piece. Sounds really weird and creepy, but oh well, let's jump in here. Splosh. Splash. Other water sound effects sounds. Uh, let's knock this over. Let's get some 
Do if I stop <laughs> stop doing a weird animation around it, just pick up the food. Great. As you can see, this waterfall clips under the water, so yay. You wanna oh blimey, I nearly jumped straight off the edge there. That would have been bad. Uh, but let's keep climbing up here. Hopefully the last five cents are up here and I won't have to run around looking for it like I did last time. Um they look like they are. Ugh, that is probably the biggest jump. Oh yes, life is good. Okay, I was expecting a fragment of ship to be up here, not a bone. Right, um, while I run around and look for the last fragment of ship, I will also look for the, la uh, the last three cents. So, um, I may cut out a lot of this because it may take me a really, really, really long time. So, uh, oh, what's going on? What's going on? <laughs> here we go. So, I may see you in a minute, or I may just find them straight away. Okay, here's some more sense. Uh, be careful of the skunk. It will, like, spray you and it will, you know, make you all confused and stuff, so avoid it, um, if you can. For now, I want to run up here. Yep, there we go. Thought so. Um, so here's the last piece of rocket, so let's go back over there and get our bone reward. Um, I was just thinking of something. Uh, swans. Uh, it's very weird that there's a, just a random swan here. And to be honest, if you ever see a swan and don't know, don't approach them. They are aggressive as hell. Wunderbar! Now I can repair and relaunch my rocket. The world will applaud my genius. <laughs> genius. Anyway, but um, his not his. Uh, but swans are really aggressive. Basically, I went on holiday once and it was in like Fly, this forest dear. area. Fly. And oh, I love basically, so much. they would come up to the windows, like the cabins we were staying in, and they would literally just bite at the window trying to get us. It was ridiculous. <laughs> it was quite funny as well. So you could just annoy them, put your finger there, and they'd be biting, trying to bite your finger. It's hilarious. Astounding prize? What is the astounding? A bone? One bone? What gives? You. You. Ginger. Ginger nerd. Yeah, that's, all, that's what you are. You ginger. Anyway, there we go. Double bone action. Boy, some people will promise you the moon or Pluto. Well, Pluto is kind of is a moon, but it's I don't know what oh, is Pluto now. It's like a great. it's like a mini planet or something. I can't remember what its classification mm, is, but a bone. There we go. Two things. Um, I think what happened there was that the designers basically got lazy and they couldn't think of another way to add an extra bone in, so they just sort of went, you know what, screw it. Let's just give them two bones. For the price of one, for no apparent reason. Well, that guy behind me sounds pretty happy, so <laughs> let's pick up these bones. And then I'll quickly save. Uh, so let's go in here. I'll quickly save. Okay, let's carry on. That's hopefully the last time we hear that, because even though I find it absolutely hilarious for no apparent reason. It does get very annoying very quickly, listening to him saying, I love my axe. But anyway, for now, we're going to move on to our next area, which is an area I've forgotten the name of. So once it's loaded, we'll move on to that. Let's go this way, because I think we've got, ooh, I don't know, maybe a few minutes left that I can squeeze into this video. So uh, where we want to go is to the field, because if you look on this sign, uh, there's a village that way, but the village actually leads further into the story. If we go through the field, uh, it will lead to a dead end, so we can complete that without having to backtrack through several levels and miss it out. So let's go to the big field! Yes, they went there. That is basically the best they could do. Big field. I know it's fantastic and all, but whatever. Uh, I believe if I run this way real quickly, I'll be able to see that on that it says uh, pedigree or something. Yep, <laughs> pedigree, so basically there we go, <laughs> this game is clearly sponsored by them, so whatever. Uh, there's just a little touch, it's quite funny. Uh, 12 blues gets me a bone, and boy do I need bone. Okay, he needs bones, so we collect up the blue sense in that amount of seconds. Uh, jump in front of a car, 
Gimme. Right, let's go this way. I don't remember where they all are, so uh, I'm just gonna run around aimlessly and try and collect them. Uh, where is the next one? It's back over the fence. Jump the fence. Yep, I'm, to be honest, I was quite surprised. For goodness sake, <laughs> stop trolling me, you monsters. Here we go. Right, where's the last one? Uh, 28 seconds. There it is. Right, I wasn't expecting that to be honest. I didn't actually remember that if you went here, it would. Uh, if you collected the dark blue ones, it would do that. But there we go. That is a new type of scent. Mm, it's a time trial one. Smells. It's what life's all about. Uh, but anyway, let's collect up all of Whoa, these yellow scents. And there's the hot air balloon again. Uh, let's grab that. And now we can challenge the local dog. A peeing game. Let's mark the corners to gain fields and show that dog that I rule. Three, two, one. Here we go. Go. So what we want to do is pee on these corners until we have enough. So I think what I'll do is just go up the line a bit and collect up this massive square like he's doing. Going. Sorry, I'm just concentrating a bit, so my commentation is a bit weird. But as you can see, the sheep running everywhere. That would be from something we'll get onto in the next section. So uh, let's just be on this corner. Hopefully, I win. There we go. I win. So that's already two bones down. And oh. for the invasion of the body snatcher. Okay. Oh, I remember what you have to do. Oh, we're actually getting into this now. Basically, we want to collect up the sheep. Uh, Heard the sheep. This can be a little bit annoying, but it's just you kind of do it one at a time. Just sort of get them in there. Right. Once you get them in, they won't. Well, hopefully, they won't come back out. But okay, with some more sheep. Come on then. That way. That way. That way. Come on. Go. 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 No. 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 Go in. 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 There we go. This can be very, very, very annoying. Right. No sheep. But you want to try and keep on the outside of where you want them to go. So, oh, I'm just chasing it around a tree now. <laughs> round around the tree we go. Right, no, get in there. No, in you go. There we go. I don't know how many sheep that is. I'm just sort of trying to do this since you are on a time trial for this. So, all right, let's try and hug them all up. Go on, off you go. Okay, I'll get these two since... Oh, for goodness sake, they have a habit of doing that. They just sort of run off in random directions. Right, in you go. Alright, so now once they're in there, you don't have to worry. We've still got over two minutes left, so... Uh, there's plenty of time. Alright, where have you gone? That's the problem with this, since you don't have first-person view. When you're in other dogs, it can be very irritating to... Get them in. Right, I think this is the last sheet. So, let's... No, 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 no! Oh, phew. I thought it was going to do the very annoying thing that they seem to do sometimes. There we go. Where they would just run off behind Whoa! it and you'd never catch them. Mission accomplished. Okay, mission accomplished apparently. Uh, but I I've never knew what I was doing it. So hard. Almost like she was possessed. She was possessed. There you go, boy. That is actually quite dark considering we're taking over the minds of other sheep. Which is quite worrying and oh, you're oh, kidding me. Dad burn it. I knew I should have got a gate for this here pit. Oh. <laughs> As you can see, every human in this bloody game is a complete Jake, moron for some reason. Uh, I don't think there is another bone in it for you if you actually do it again, but you might get a tree or something, I don't know. Uh, I might do it off screen just to find out. But anyway, let's go to sleep and save the game, because I think that's probably enough for now. So until next time, like, comment, subscribe and all the other good stuff. Next time we will continue this level and hopefully complete it, so until then, 